Alright everybody, here we are gonna go over Yoshimitsu's nerfs for Season 2. First up, back 2-2, two -two. it is still minus 13, but now on block, your opponent recovers much closer to you, allowing 13 frame punishes to hit Yoshi. Luckily at max range, some 13 frame punishers will whiff. Another nerf Yoshi got is that up forward 2 into flash is no longer a combo. Another nerf that Yoshi got is that his, the first kick of his butterfly kicks doesn't track as well. Luckily, at range and up close, the second kick of the butterfly kicks does track but only to Yoshimitsu's left. Another minor nerf that he got is that his down back 3 now does 8 points of damage. And another slight buff slash nerf is that back down back 3 comes out slightly faster. But now on counter hit, only 2 hits are guaranteed, 3 hits are no longer guaranteed. Now onto the buffs, Yoshimitsu's 2 throw now floor breaks, allowing you to get a combo on Forgotten Realm. His full crouch sweep got a damage buff and a homing buff. His 2-1 string got sped up, both the regular version and the cancelled version. Now one of the major buffs he got is his down 2-2 two -two string is now plus 7 on hit and minus 12 on block. Once you factor in that the second hit is hit confirmable, down 2 is a beast in wall pressure now. All these buffs to down 2-2 two -two also apply to the no sword stance transition. The next buff that Yoshi got is his crouch dash 1 and got a damage buff on hit if he covers early and if, it, if it's done against an opponent that is low to the ground it flops them over for open. This effect also occurs at the wall. Put this all together and you can include quite a bit of pressure once you include the flop over into your open game. All the variations of the kangaroo kick have had their hitbox lowered. I honestly haven't been able to find exactly how much of a benefit this is, but it's there. You just know that it's there. Another move that got above is his back turn down one. On counter hit, it flops and does its funky little animation. When it connects close, Yoshimitsu gets guaranteed follow-ups. Just know that after the down one, you recover in crouch animation. So if you want to do a standing move, you have to crouch cancel either by dashing or by pressing up. Now here I believe I show that the initial poison wind stomp is guaranteed when you're close. And I believe I turn on the display so you can actually see that I'm mashing the, all the escapes. So this first one I'm holding back and it's guaranteed to hit. Here I'm mashing side uh, roll left and it hits. Here I'm mashing roll right and it also hits. Just know that at max range it will whiff among all the other key followers. The next move that I got a buff is Kincho 3. On hit it still does the same exact animation as before giving you the free sweep. But now on counter hit it actually gives you a juggle. It causes a weird animation on counter hit, so you kind of limit it to your follow ups afterwards. The most consistent are while standing 4, and crouch cancel down forward 1. Unfortunately, they both yield the same damage, so just stick to the easy while standing 4. The next move that got adjusted was Kincho 1 plus 2. The final hit now it has an extra active frame. So this means uh, if you, when you catch someone sidestepping, the final hit should not whiff. Air quotes on the should not. We'll see how it actually works out in the end. Now Kincho 1 plus 2 against an airborne opponent got adjusted. It now spikes allowing for a quick roll. This means at the wall you're forcing a 50-50 on someone much faster than before. Now forward 4 is Yoshi's wall bounce. I'll make a separate video explaining some of the combos you get off it, but just know forward 4 is the wall bounce. Now for one of the major buffs, a forward 1 is now a counter hit launcher, along with the second hit of wall standing 3-2. 
they both cause a bounce uh, launch. The only difference is that the wall standing 3-2 version recovers a little later than the up forward 1 version. So your combos are slightly different for both. As you can see here, the wall standing 3-2, I'm mashing 1 at the same time. And you'll see the 1-1 one, one always whiffs. So here I give a couple examples of the juggles that you can actually do now. A quick note about the wall standing 3-2 juggles. Uh, there's a certain timing that you have to do. Just for the, just because the fact that if you pay attention to how they bounce, um, you want to time your, your follow-up hit as soon as they bounce off the floor the second time. Watch, right there. So that's kind of where you want to time your attack. So as you can see, I do the down forward one as they bounce off the floor. Unfortunately, that's the easiest way to explain it. See, there I was mashing down forward one and it whiffed. So you kind of have to like slightly delay your input to catch it. Now another big buff that Yoshi got is his flash rage art is two frames faster, making it the fastest rage art in the game. Well, fastest activating rage art at six frames. This allows for situations in which Yoshi would trade a flash with an attack to actually turn it into a full blown juggle that causes hefty damage. So in this situation, there's a six frame window in between the kick and the full crouch jab. As you can see, the flash trades with it every time because the flash is six frames and the window is six frames. But now with the rage art, you actually turn it into a full juggle. And not only that, it's a rather hefty juggle. So there's various situations throughout the game that this actually is godsend. Now there's a couple stealth buffs that he got. Uh, two one. As far as I remember, it was never an actual a natural combo on counter hit, but now it actually is. I don't know if this is new or not. Like I never used to move that often, but it's now a natural a natural string on counter hit. So that's a nice little buff. And the other stealth buff that wasn't in the patch notes is down forward two and up forward three both launch higher. Now if you add the change that Namco did to the back turn fours how they recover faster but do slightly less damage. Any combo that uses the back turn 4 are actually much easier to do now. This brings me to the end of the video. Um, overall, I do like the changes they made to Yoshi. He's uh, He pretty much gets all the stuff that he needed, really. By taking away one launcher, we got two more. Um, and they upped his juggle damage. So, in reality, it felt like a side, a side upgrade. But when you place all the pieces together, he actually got a pretty significant buff. So yeah guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe for future content and I'll catch you guys.